Bay Day, a beauty pageant contestant, enters from the street, wearing a coat, headscarf, gloves, carrying many bags. Do you think she's as stupid as she's supposed to be, Barbie? Or is Barbie shy, with secret depths? I'm sorry, the words have lost their distinction. The reality remains, you have to decide whether to try and win once you realize you're caught in a particular game. Arlen Davis enters carrying cameras, a tripod, and bags filled with accessories for her job reporting on the beauty pageant. Poetry. <sighs> It's a privilege to add beauty to the world. Arlen heads to the dressing room. Lights change to purple. Angela is looking in a mirror in her office. I got a purple heart. There's something sacred about the face. It portrays us, it fascinates us. We crave faces, wounded in mortal combat. We want to like our face. I want to like my face, but it's hard. Hard for me to see beauty in my own face. Hard to acknowledge you need your own approval. And I survived to tell the tale. Lights change to red as Ellen enters the office. You see how the world is, and you take your stand, or you lie down and watch the parade, or you are fodder. I particularly dislike the idea of being fodder. Who names their daughter Barbie? Lights change to orange as Maggie speaks to the audience. Tonight there will be one 15 minute intermission. Beulah's boy is 62. Please silence all your electronic devices. He lives at home. Beulah takes care of him. That's phones, tablets. He has no legs. There is no smoking anywhere in this facility. I asked her how he lost his legs. Agent Orange ate his legs. No, she says, Agent Orange took his legs. But you can smoke outside. How did that happen, I ask. Nam, says Beulah, so quietly I don't hear her. I wait a long time in the silence for an answer she's already given. Where you see the large ashtrays, I don't mean to upset you, I say. Vietnam, says Beulah, with some energy behind it. I said, Nam, she says. She's not angry with me. We talk about how they both smoke cigarettes anywhere they want to, inside their home. No smoking anywhere inside here. My soul bones ache. I'm dizzy with despair. How is protecting different than rescuing? If you let anyone write your life for you, what kind of life is a life that somebody else designs? You live it out, like stepping into big yellow footsteps on the floor that teach you how to dance or <laughs> the way to exit in case of emergency. May and many other beauty contestants are in the dressing room, all of them in a state of semi-undress, underwear and robes. The room calls out the poem. The world inspires creation. Calls it forth from infinite, inchoate being. I'm looking for a lover who is an ethical humanitarian and an intrinsic, undefinable searcher. Or maybe unrefinable reacher, undeniable teacher this tangled mess pulls me defines me whirling feeding off the nectar of now i have a friend named charity it's not fun being named after a virtue virtues are not generally highly regarded except in theory in practice not so much good guys mostly only win in fiction in real life bullies win most of the battles and when you witness people who behave with nobility, it's a blessing for others, but often a burden for them. I'm sure you'd have a happier life if you're named after a sin. 
Not like greed or fornication. Something poetic, like apple. I bet it's great to be named something desirable and wicked. Something that caused the Trojan War and the expulsion from the garden. You'd never ever have to prove that you are meaningful. You'd be automatically desirable. Unless they call you a fruit, or you think about all the chemicals they spray on apples to poison the children. That horrible moment in Sleeping Beauty, where the witch offers beauty the poison apple? Good-intentioned mothers feeding their children chemical time bombs. All she wanted to do was make other people wrong so she could feel right, but she got to me. When you're the one who's always wrong, it's hard, hard to live in the moment. We abandon something important when we can't appreciate. I get tired of pretending I'm stupid. An illusion created by the cyclicity of the process. Something rare and true. I see in you.